Good morning, everybody. Do you know where I am this morning? I am back in the church. It is so nice to be back in our Sunday school classroom. I know it's not the same without you guys here, but it is so nice to be back. And I can't wait for the day that we can finally be back here together. But first, I have a question for you. Have you ever tried to grow a plant? Have you ever had a garden? Have you ever helped a parent or a friend or somebody in the garden? Have you ever been on, lived on, or visited a farm? What do plants need to grow? So let's list them. First, a plant would probably need sunlight, water, air to breathe, oxygen. It would probably need a good soil, plenty of space so it can reach its roots out. Probably stuff like that. Did you know that just like plants, we kind of need the same things to grow? We also need sun, water, air. But did you know that our faith also, also needs things to grow? Okay, so maybe our faith doesn't need sunlight or soil to grow. But just like growing a plant, our faith does need some things to grow. Our faith needs some essentials. When we plant a seed, we want it to grow into a big plant, maybe a big fruit tree that would sprout apples or pears, or maybe a vine that has strawberries on it. We have to make sure that it's planted in good soil in order to grow. If the soil is too dry or too wet or too rocky, or maybe if we tried to plant something in sand, it probably wouldn't grow the way we would want it to. So we have to make sure that the soil we plant our, our seeds in are just right. If I tried to go outside and throw some seeds onto the sidewalk outside of the church, do you think it would grow? Probably not. If I threw some seeds outside on the, um, in the parking lot, do you think it would grow? Again, probably not. But if we planted the seeds in a good spot that has shade, but also plenty of sunlight, some nice moist soil, but not too wet, do you think it would grow? I think so too. But if I take time to tend to a garden and plant seeds and soil that is just right, it'll probably grow. It's the same for us. If our faith doesn't have the right environment to grow in, it won't grow. Just like the seeds, if our faith doesn't have this environment, plants won't grow from it and it won't bring forth any fruit. Well, okay, our faith isn't necessarily just like a plant. If you were to plant a little seed to grow an apple tree, it would bring forth actual fruit. But our faith can also bring forth fruit, just not an apple. Just like a plant, our faith needs the right environment to grow and to bring forth fruit. But what kind of fruit does our does our faith bring forward? Our faith brings fruit, not actual fruit like apples, but good things. Fruit basically means good things. Our faith brings forth good things when we tend to it like we would tend to a garden. Our faith, us having good faith and a good environment to plant our foundation in of our faith allows us to go and tell others about our faith, to share our stories and to share the Bible with others. How do we get a good foundation of soil to plant our faith into? We do things like listening in church, going to Mrs. B's St. Luke Saints class, going to confirmation, listening, even just a little bit more than we usually do. It means reading and believing the Bible these things will bring forth good fruit. That doesn't mean you can't ask questions. It's good to ask questions. Those things, asking questions and listening for God, those things are going to bring forth good fruit. Will you guys pray with me? 
Dear God, we thank you for the soil that you plant us in, for the sun you grow us with, and for the love we receive from you. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. I encourage you to try and do at least one thing that would tend to yours, to your faith's garden. Maybe read a Bible verse, ask your parents what their favorite Bible verse is, listen a little bit more in church this morning, do things that would tend to your faith's garden. I'll see you guys soon.